the spiky hair, the big baggy space clothing, the popping and locking. This video was pretty ahead of its time. Look at Tony, his chunky highlights. When put you on, came on screen doing this rap, this crazy sounding rap. Yeah, hear his voice. The one time check. Sorry, I have to say that. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video by me, Tina. OG K pop stand since 1998. Obviously, or hopefully, obviously, this uh, crown shows what I'm gonna be talking about in this video today Big Bang. Yes, first of all, if you are new to my whole K Throwback Thursday series, which I should be making a lot more of videos, I mean, from my perspective, just because I wanna share older music with y'all, it's finally time for me to get to a Big Bang video. And to be honest, okay, I'm not going to wear this the whole time. I'll probably wear it throughout the intro. To be honest, this video has been very uh, fun and challenging. And the reason why I say that is because I knew that I was going to be making this reaction or this, uh, you know, sharing Big Bang stuff with y'all video eventually. And then um, with my major VIP ask from back in the day, I was like, which song do I even want to show? Because there are there's so much. So um, after thinking and gathering through and, you know, re-jamming a lot of Big Bang music that I haven't heard in a long time, I decided to go with certain songs that are either not very heard from a lot of the people who are not Big Bang fans or songs that are kind of known, but not exactly to where uh, it's just songs that I want to talk about. So um, first, I'm going to start with a Big Bang song. Because the other two are solos. At first, I really wanted to play Bay Bay for y'all. Big Bang's Bay Bay. Uh, because Bay Bay, when I first heard that song, I was like, damn, this is very interestingly different for Big Bang. It's like the more their music just advanced or the further their career grew, the more interesting their music became. I followed Big Bang since their documentary slash survival show thing. And I've even met Big Bang in person. They're very cool. They're very chill. But I met them like way at the beginning of their career, like right when Big Bang was made. So um, yeah, and I went to G-Dragon's concert whenever he was here in Houston. That was, I still couldn't believe that I shook his hand. I was like, oh. okay, anyway, um, back to the point of this video. I decided to go with the Big Bang song that's a B-side. And we always say that in Idols, a lot of the magic of the group's vocals and you know, further than their main tracks is in the B-sides. And this B-side has always been my favorite by them. All, even up till now, I still listen to it, which is their song, I Don't Understand. It's a more slower, very sad song. And usually people who are not VIPs, what they see of Big Bang is like bang, 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 or fuck it, or, you know, like they're more very in your face, vibrant songs versus I Don't Understand. It shows the lyrics are very sad and the way it's sung by Big Bang and even the rap parts, there's a nice emotion that goes to the lyrics so that's the first song the second uh, song that i'll be checking out is one of my favorites by g dragon which is his song bullshit it's on his most recent uh whole untitled album and man when he performed it live i lost my shit. I, I had the floor seats like i was in the floor pit and everything and but um even with the floor pit i didn't stay at the front i was at the back where there was nobody around me and i was just like jamming by myself because that's all i needed g dragon there so um yeah, uh, Bullshit, I really, really love that song. Not only because it's super hype, but the meaning or the kind of nod to his roots in that song, which I will further explain whenever we get there. And the third song will be my other... She dragon is basically my bias. And then my bias record is T.O.P. So I will be checking out uh, T.O.P.'s Doom Dada for the third song, which that song, I think it's known for people who've been into um, K-pop for a while. Um... Yeah, and that song is because when I first saw the video and heard the song and um, read the translations and everything, I was like, T.O.P., you are a freaking genius. And I will definitely, that one I'll probably be talking about the most because he goes far into his um, creativity, his process of it. It's not like I was next to him or I'm, not, I'm no musician or anything and know the process, but from what I got from the music video and what um, the lyrics especially, if, yeah, y'all will hear. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get this uh, Big Bang party started for this Throwback Thursday. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, hit the play button for Big Bang's I Don't Understand.
Cause you know how we do. This is something so uh, beautifully haunting about this. What should I do? This comes to me, girl. It's very sad. The lyrics are very sad. It's been a while. <laughs> Jason sounds like he's like just in despair in his voice. Tam goes the F off in this video. This chorus is just something so haunting about it. Just, just listen to Taeyang's verse. His voice. Okay, I'm gonna pause right there because yeah, Young ba Tang. So I uh, follow Big Bang since their documentary days. So it took me a long time for me to call him Tang instead of Young Bay because that's his name. And even with T.O.P. Uh, back when he was an underground rapper, he went by the title Tempo. So I called him Tempo for the longest time. It took me a long time to call him T.O.P. or Top. So um, Tang's part. Oh gosh, he freaking goes off. Like that whole da, 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 like the way he does that, the flow just it just melted into my heart. And as like the beat goes dum 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 dum, like his the way his vocal delivery there is just it matches that whole heart beating. It makes me feel like my heart is beating faster. And then the way he ends off that uh, baby, he just goes off. I'm gonna rewind just the that last part, I guess, just to hear it again. And then we'll go on with the song. But I just had to say that. I then G dragon right after <laughs> so that under i mean uh, that understand that ending um, of top's verse and then daesung's voice coming in to like ugh, like seriously this song killed me in the back in the day and re-listening to it now in full detail like focusing on it it still kills me T.O.P., his G-Dragon, he has such a swag in his voice, a very YG family swag. I will get further into that when it gets to his bullshit song. Um, T.O.P., his freaking rap, like, it's so buttery. It's so smooth, but it's so separate at the same time, the way his enunciation of his uh, lyrics are. It's, it's just so attractive like it's vocally attractive and then ending off like like i said with day sung's voice doing that woo, it's like okay yeah let's continue the freaking um ad libs the side stuff I need to drink water because I'm getting hot. <laughs> this part sounds very dramatic with the what guitar is that what it is? And the whole thunder and rain. It's 
so sad. <laughs> Seriously, I think their vocals just go so off in this song. <laughs> and this whole ending guitar. It sounds crazy, right? But it matches the mood so well. Off topic, but NCT uh, 127's Run Back to You is very good too. But um, anyway, so yeah, that whole ending with the guitar, it's so... Okay, Um, example, if you are familiar with Pink Floyd, uh, their song Comfortably Numb, they have a guitar solo section where it just sounds like the guitar is crying the emotions in the lyrics. And then the guitar here kind of makes me feel that same way too. It's just a nice finish from what we just heard in their vocals and in the lyrics. And how the song changes so yeah i feel like this song is just so beautiful and it needs to be heard by a lot more people not just uh, vips but just listeners in general who are interested in music so yeah okay we're just on the first song and i'm already like talking a lot and getting all heated up and shit so um yeah the second song ha does have a music video it's not like out uploaded released like to the public but uh g dragon had it like a special thing when you bought the untitled album. The music video doesn't have the translation, so I'll talk about the song a little bit before we listen to it and watch the music video. So when you hear the song and watch the music video, you think, oh damn, it's freaking vibrant, it's freaking cool, like he's so damn cool. And of course, that definitely, I agree with that. What I really super enjoy about the song is all the nods to the YG family stuff. So in there, um, in the beginning of the verse, he says, Duga Duga Hot Dog, like, that so y'all know the phrase dog eat it's a dog eat dog world right so that's what i got from this song because he speaks a lot um symbolically about dogs different kind of dogs like you know i'm the top dog or you know i'm with my own little wolf pack also um uh one time one tym super super og yg family group which I, I need to make a separate video for them as well because i don't think i said enough about them in my first reaction um they have like one of their most popular songs is Hot Duga. And um G um G Dragon talks about like the dogs in here, then he says Duga Duga Hot Dog. Like he kind of brings that in to kind of tie in the whole YG roots. Cause G Dragon really wanted to like with this uh, album before enlisting, he really wanted to go deep into the roots of him, what made him into what he is now, which is YG family. Like the first thing I ever saw G Dragon in was YG Family's YMCA song, but he had a very little part at the end of that song. The song that really uh, showed his potential was him in the song uh, YG Family song "Fly Gentleman." So that's another reference that he does in this video or the song. The bridge, the whole rhythm. I'll, I'll point it out. The rhythm of the bridge is basically the rhythm from the bridge of "Fly Gentleman," which I find interesting because in "Fly Gentleman." The bridge says something about blowing the whistle. When you, what what does that tie in with the dog, right? So he used not only a YG root, but a symbolic thing that goes with what he's doing uh, symbolically here. So yeah, I found that also very interesting. And third, I do like that he references his song Crayon. It, I hope y'all know Crayon. Uh, it, it's it's insane. It's very insane. It's very GD. So um, yeah, I just had to say all that because they don't have lyrics translated here. But yeah, let's get into the music video and the song. What the uh, hey, one time reference. This is such an interesting change up. Homie, pay me like you owe me like that. <laughs> this, this is seriously such an insane chorus. 
I had the song on repeat when I first heard this for days, for weeks. Oh, he's so hot. Like, I'm gonna have to say that he's hot. He's younger than me, but he's hot. So, um, the whole thing of like, let me pause like a cool, yeah, there we go. I don't want to be like <laughs> y'all laughing at that. But anyway, if y'all see the scene switches of the fighters in the ring, and then you see the dogs in the ring again, that's like the whole highlighting on the dog eat dog world kind of thing. So, all right. And then the bridge is about to come where they bring in the YG family. Okay, so before we can finish the rest of the song, I have to show y'all the YG family fly gentleman part um, while it's fresh in y'all's ears, hopefully, just to show the him tying in the YG family roots kind of feel. So that bridge was like, dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. And then you hear that doo, 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 that little sound that you hear in the background. YG uh, family fly gentleman is that whole dun, 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 That's like the rhythm of that song. So y'all just heard that bridge. Now hear the bridge of fly gentleman. There he goes. He's such a baby. Them literally being fly gentlemen. Okay, so yeah, let's just continue the rest of the song. The song is like the rest is just vibing. Let me just rewind back a little bit. The music video is so awesome. I love all of the green and red. Y'all know green and red bounces each other. Green means go, red means stop. And of course he ends off with like that roar kind of thing to go with the whole dog eat dog world feel. So yeah, man, it's, it's been a while since I've really like let myself be engulfed in the song because I have an OG uh, K-pop stand playlist on Spotify and I'll hear the song every now and then. But for me to sit here and remember the whole YG family nod and everything, it's just, it brings me back. So <laughs> anyways, um, third song. The third song I'll be checking on this video is T.O.P.'s Doom Dada. Cool. I'm going to have a lot to say about this. So I'm going to say it now so I'm not continuously pausing in the video I, I will probably pause just to um at least highlight something but um yeah so T.O.P.'s Doom Dada it's so insane it's such an insane sounding song and insane video he has the whole plan of the apes kind of thing and it, it, I think to kind of like highlight I'm going to bring a new sound to this thing or because it goes with the stuff that he says in the lyrics so um a lot of the song he even gives a nod to Jean-Michel Basquiat who's an artist who's a uh, known for um, graffiti art, but to me, I think it's so much more than that. If you go into Jean Michel Basquiat's life, he has he's such an extraordinary artist. He I don't think he ever went to uh, art school or anything. It was like he got a lot of his 
artistic abilities from what you could get from or what he had. So I think he was able to go to museums. Like he got inspired off of museums. He got inspired off of the music that his dad listened to. And then a lot of what he grew up with, he kind of mixed all together. And I believe that he's, cause a lot of his art focuses on body parts, like anatomy. And I think that came from whenever, when he was younger, he got given a Grey's Anatomy, Anatomy book by his mom. I watched the whole documentary on this guy. So I know a little bit of information. Um, yeah, he got into an accident. His mom brought him a Grey's Anatomy thing. And, you know, with his inspiration of uh, art from museums and the music that he heard um, from his dad and then the book, it's like all that together created what he started. And then that's how his uh, his career or his legacy really grew. So um, I think um, obviously T.O.P. is very inspired by that because he kind of goes with that same kind of concept with this video. Um, he's, in his lyrics, he speaks a lot about hot souls and um it, it sounds kind of like scary ish you know to think about something like that but it's like uh let me um look up the translation the literal translation real quick in eardrums of sleeping souls okay like when you look at that just for it as a literal term you're kind of like what but a lot of this is a lot of art is very figurative and symbolic so the viewer can take it for what it is from our perspective at the current time um, the whole thin eardrums of sleeping souls, I feel like that represents like a sleeping soul makes me think of the Disney Pixar movie soul, where um, the main character, he kind of looks for his life's purpose, which he thinks is a spark, but the purpose of life is to just live. So sleeping soul, like what he, the character was before is what I would call sleeping soul. And um, the whole thin eardrum thing is kind of like, can represent someone who's easily influenced or can be easily broken because of them being a sleeping soul. So T.O.P. talks about that in here, which I find very interesting. And he's like trying to say, I, hopefully I'm bringing or the music that I bring to the world. I, I hope to make a change. Kind of like, and he's inspired by Basquiat because he mentions Basquiat in the song too, where he's saying like, he's like the uh, Korean musician Basquiat or something like with the mic. And um, what was the other part? the the middle scene you'll see him with a glass of wine he talks about how he'll his music will make you kind of go insane and he's like as clear as a glass of uh pinot noir pinot noir pinot noir a glass of wine a glass of red wine and then you're like wait clear as a glass of red wine that actually makes me think of jack sparrow whenever he was talking to his little shoulder angel and devil thing and then um he said, am I making myself clear or something? And then one of his little things said, clear as mud. You know, I'm clear as mud and mud is not clear. So this kind of like makes you go insane. So yeah, um, I, I, as a person, like personality, I'm very big on MBTI. I feel like a lot of what T.O.P. is and enjoys is like stuff that I really enjoy. I think it's just some, a very introvert thing. And my introverts out there will understand what I mean when I say that. All right. I had to say all that because... His song is pretty wild and it's pretty quick, so I don't want to do a lot of pausing and talking for it. So here we go at T.O.P.'s Doom Dada. It's been a while. <laughs> I was like, holy shit, T.O.P. The whole plan of the age thing. His rhythm is crazy, right? Like, it's so crazy. I don't know if this is y'all's like, if y'all have seen or heard this song before or if this is new to you, but I'm just going to talk about it like it's new. So, um, all right. Yeah, let, let's continue. It's 
It's so insane. This makes me think of a house on Haunted Hill. The clear as red wine. His video, it's really insane. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> it's very um, chaotic. <laughs> it's a little shimmy. I forgot about that. Let's <laughs> go. I really love the whole, I hope my music is a <laughs> revolutionary thing. He's leading the pack. They found the mic. Yeah, it's just very cool. He's so uh, whimsical. He's so chaotic. I love it. Yeah, I had to stay quiet throughout the rest of that because I was not about to mess up his rhythm, his flow. He goes the F off in that whole last part. And he that is actually him dressed up in that whole uh, monkey or gorilla suit is actually him. So that's why you see him at the end like doing that whole rapping thing. So yeah, um, that's why I hope you all understand why I want to say all I said before the video because this video is very chaotic and crazy and at first watch I'm not Korean, so I don't understand the stuff at first watch. But at first watch, first of all, I already just liked the song because it's just very cool. And then whenever I looked into the translations, it things put more together and rewatching the video, I was like, he is so, he's such a genius. I, I really enjoy T.O.P.'s work. I really enjoy Big Bang's work overall. I wish I could show y'all a lot more, but I don't want this video to be like two hours long. Plus, I don't know how many videos, um, are allowed in a song you know before my channel gets in trouble so um maybe i'll do like other big bang things like this is like where i want to show big bang songs that i super enjoy and then maybe other ones would be like different themes of big bang i mean if you are interested to hear more so um yeah well anyways if y'all tune into this throwback thursday of big bang here with me on my youtube thank you so much i hope you have a great day and until the next video coming up peace <laughs>